Here's a clue. If you want to know what the main symbol is in East of Eden, you only need to read the first sentence of this story. To understand the symbol of the Salinas Valley, we need to return once again to the Bible. Remember that in the story of Adam and Eve, Adam and Eve fall prey to temptation and God boots them out of the Garden of Eden. After their original sin, they're forced to live in a world where the enticements of evil are all around them. So in East of Eden, you can think of the Salinas Valley as symbolizing the world outside the garden. Like Adam and Eve, all the characters in East of Eden struggle to make the right choices in the face of inherited sin. They struggle with temptation. Their world can be a place of joy, but with the wrong choices, it can also be a place of sorrow. Still not convinced? Okay, here's one other reason that the Salinas Valley represents the post-Garden of Eden world. Think about Steinbeck's description of the valley in chapter one. On one side are the Gabalan Mountains, full of sun and loveliness, and on the other are the Santa Lucia Mountains, which are dark and brooding. Light and darkness, good and evil, and in the middle, the valley where the struggle between good and evil will play out.